come along for the ride with me on today's car vlog. Uh, it's Sunday and I'm headed out to the Dollar Tree. The one that you could say perhaps is the nearest to where I live. We have several. Uh, the one I go to is in particular clean and organized. It's not very big and they don't have frozen food, but that's all okay because like a store said, the store is constantly clean and organized. Okay. I went to Dollar Tree and Big Lots. And my Boston Terrier Murphy is helping me right now. <clears throat> At Big Lots, I picked up the Banquet Macaroni and Cheese. Eight ounces for 45 cents. So I got two. They had three. I left one for everybody else. My daughter loves fruit roll-ups, but Big Lots had the Welch's fruit snack, the regular 10-pack, like I get at Kroger's, for $2.45, so that was a pretty good buy, so I purchased two of these. Okay, they also had cereal at Big Lots, but I wanted a regular price. Get the next one 50% off. So I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which would be $2.80. I got Cocoa Puffs for half price, or vice versa. My daughter's trying to use some inferior broken headphones. We play Fortnite Rules of Survival, and she plays something called Pugby. I don't play that one. Anyway, she needs headphones. Headphones with a mic. So they were $10 at Big Lots. We desperately needed some regular silverware. So they had the False Graph 20 piece Salisbury satin for $14. It was also on sale, but that was a pretty good price because it's less than a dollar a piece, which is what Big Lots has their silverware. Excuse me, for. on the last, about the false graph silverware, that was actually, I meant to say, Dollar Tree charges a dollar a piece for their silverware. They had this apple cinnamon hot oats you just make it in the microwave for 47 big lots i got two of those my daughter and i use himalayan sea salt and so i got this big pretty bottle for three dollars we were out of jelly so i got welch's concord grape jelly for a dollar 95 it's a 30 ounce container, relatively inexpensive, as Hunter Stir Mediterranean style, and it was $3.95. Also, I found some Dead Sea collection body oil right now for five bucks for four ounces, and if it works, that's a great buy. Yeah. Snyder's Butter Snaps were 85 cents. The Wilders, which my daughter and I drink in water, was only 75 cents a box. So I got, she loves Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. So I got a can of the Honey Roasted Cashews. And they were like less than $5, so that was pretty darn good. I got some veggie straws, which are made out of tomatoes, spinach, and potatoes. It's a pretty decent sized bag, and it was $1.90. Also on clearance was some 
Decadent Art Artisan Crisp and Snickerdoodle. And they were a dollar fifty cents. I also got some beautiful candles. They're the two wick kind. And you can see the fragrance is fresh lilies. And they were four dollars and twenty cents. I got two of them. Okay. That is all for the Big Lots haul. It was the most expensive haul that I did today between Dollar Tree and Big Lots. Um, I said, well, I'll tell more about it on the Dollar Tree video that I do, but Dollar Tree wasn't quite as sharp and on point as I expected them to be, and I was a little disappointed. Actually, Big Lots was more on point than they were. <laughs> and uh, I spent more money at Big Lots. Anyway, this is Dana. Please remember that we love you. And most of all, be kind to each other. And bye to next time.